the Irish Examiner front page this morning. We haven't talked about the papers, Love but I just want to bring you this, right? There is an allure there, and it's a picture of a young, spry Jack O'Connor in his Kerry gear. He doesn't, it's obviously an old picture because he's, he's not the Kerry manager. <laughs> he is the Kildare manager. But he's saying in the po- podcast with Paul Rouse, uh, in the Examiner, there is an allure there. Jack O'Connor hints he'd be open to a Kerry return. Who doesn't want to coach Man United is the question. So it, it, I should say, so John Fogarty has the piece inside. Uh, O'Connor is expected to be, is expected to remain at the helm in Kildare in 2022. What? <laughs> what? Hang on now. So you, you're, you're, you're the Kildare manager next year, but you want to be the carry manager as well. He says there's an allure there. Okay, let's, let's, just, let's just parse these quotes, right? David Brady's with us, by the way. David, good morning to you. How are you? Feel free to contribute at any point here, right? But I just want to... No I, problem. You know, I'm interested in your view in this, right? Who doesn't want to coach Man United? There is that allure because of the tradition. Of course there is an allure there, he told Paul Rouse. It's how much it means to people down here. You meet women on the street. They mightn't have gone to the game, but they want to talk about the game. It's everything down here. You can't escape from it down here. Any pocket in the county you go to, they want to talk football. So it's all consuming. Sure, it's an absolute joy when you win, but a lonely, dark place when you don't. Look, the Kerry gig is a fantastic job. It's a very challenging job, but would you want to be anywhere else in many ways? Because the tradition is here. Everything is built towards the Kerry senior football team. The players are coming through. If you want an easy life, you go coach somewhere else. <laughs> I don't, I mean, look, I'm not the Kildare County Board, but I don't think you can have somebody who wants another job in charge of your team. I just, like, it's nothing against Jack O'Connor, but if he wants the Kerry job and he's touting for the Kerry job, then take the Kerry job, but you can't have the Kildare job and the Kerry job. you got to listen to the podcast, though, and see what context the, the, those comments were made, you know. I mean, they don't sound any different. You can listen to it. DB, am I wrong about this? Um, easy on, Oger. Um, <laughs> as Johnny said, you need to probably listen to the, the podcast for the context. Of course, he's talking about his own county Yeah. as well. Exactly. You know, yeah, but he's allowed to do that. I'd like the career there. manager to be like, no, I don't want that job. I've got a great job where it is. We've just got into Division 1. We've seen the dubs are beatable. That's what I want to do. I'm I'm hungry for that. That's what I want the Kildare manager to say. And he probably did say it. Uh, <laughs> you're just you're just not uh, you're just not seeing it on paper. And uh, and look at it. He'd want to come to Mayo if he wants to walk down the street and talk <laughs> about football. The, the, the difference uh, there, though, David, is that the woman on the street has gone to the game uh, with all the, with the sixty thousand other because Kerry people kind of they might go for the semi final, the final in Mayo. They actually go to the game anyway, regardless it's in London, New York. Or, or Dublin. I'm not against outside managers. McGinney was a brilliant manager for Kildare, but you've got to be lock, stock and barrel committed to the gig. I don't think you can be having one eye over the shoulder going, geez, the Kerry gig is available right now. Do you know, I just think that if you are Kildare and you're trying to reassert yourselves as a first world nation in Gaelic football, your manager can't be going, yeah, actually the Kerry job is the real job. That's the best job. Did he, did he say Man United? He did say Man United, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, again, it comes back to history and culture and perception and heritage. And that's what Curry have carried with them. But does that remain? Does that aura still uh, have relevance when you when you uh, look at the modern day game and, and what has happened over the last couple of years and look back to last, last weekend? Um, the mystique we all have this, and it is, uh, uh, you know, the Curry brand, the Curry GA, the word Curry in football is uh, iconic and it has a heritage and history but again um, that's history um, in the present day it is uh, it has lingered a little bit and they have failed to made, make an impact in any way shape or form to a degree I, look realistically and all joking aside I think Kildare should be looking for a different manager next year I think not at all, Jar. I do. Hold on a second. I do. I do. I do. Because I think that like. Whoa, 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 whoa. One second. I'll ask you a question. The performance against Dublin was terrible. That's that's the main thing. The first thing. The second thing. The performance against Clare in the league terrible. Okay, so they they got promoted after a a short season. They were pretty lucky to get promoted. Hold on a second. No, they got promoted. Yeah, but I think I think that the whole point here is that the football culture isn't actually being established by somebody who is coming up and down. If we want to challenge Mayo, if we want to challenge Tyrone as a football culture, we actually need to look internally and build structures where the best young managers are coming through our own system 
and they're given the opportunity to manage the senior inter-county team. And I also think that if you're if you're going public and saying other jobs are better jobs than your current job, then you're in the you're just in the wrong job. And that's nothing personal. It's not, absolutely nothing against him. It's fine for him as a Kerry as a Kerry legend to want the Kerry gig. I totally understand that. But actually, we need somebody who only wants to kill their job. And you know what? Uh, let me tell you. Take Jim Galvin out of the scene. In the last 20 years of football, and, and I, I, have, I, have, I have got to know Jack on the periphery and talk to him and everything else, he is the most successful manager that, that, that's, that's walking around bar Jim Galvin. Unbelievable track record. Unbe- unbelievable success. With Kerry. Not just yeah. with Kerry, yeah. And again, if that's a template and you're saying to yourself, if you want the best managers to move around, um, be careful for what you're asking for, Joe, because you have it. You have, you have a man that's won minors, 21s, multiple seniors. And he's not, I don't think he's there for the crack. And he's not there for the junket. And again, I would hope that someone like um, Jack O'Connor is building a, what you would call a platform for Kildare to move forward. Not under him, maybe in the next two or three years, but to the future. And f- hopefully, and I hate when managers come in and they go away and it's good luck, goodbye and God bless, to have to be identifying a succession plan within Kildare. They have to be identifying who's going to be the next manager, or who's going to be the backroom, who's going to be the core of your team. And I think I, I, I wouldn't be as dismissive um, as that. And again, you're, you're, you're a bit hard on them. I do, I, look, them. I don't think there's a chance in hell the Kerry County Board are going to go back to Jack O'Connor. But what if they did? What if they did? He's, he's saying, yeah, essentially I would take that gig. Like, yeah, you can't be having that. You, you need certainty. The, the Kildare Championship is about to start. They, every- and he'll be, he'll be there. He'll be there. Well, I just, I could, don't. Could, could, like, like he's, he's, he is, Jack O'Connor will manage Curry in the future at some stage. Again? Yeah. Wow. Definitely. Definitely. Look at it. Well, and look at, his, it, it, I remember reading his book. Um, you know, it's not about being Mr. Popular. And again, there was, there was a lot of, I suppose it's, it's from a, a, a kind of a, a divisional divide. And he, he, he was, um, he was, he got a hard time, but, why well, Jesse produced results. He produced results. And you know what he did? He went back to the drawing board. He went back to try and integrate and develop a young crop of players. And he did that. And I think he knows his time. He knows when it's the time to actually say, right, now I know these guys are ready. Uh, maybe it's not this year. But I would, I would definitely say it sometime in the future. And, I, and you can see this constant trend and, and in a lot of counties, successful counties, uh, and I know I'm going back to the Mickey Hart time, but if you have that rapport and you have that lineage of of, of developing players in minor and under 21, which is they'll they'll give you a lot, and you're you're well ahead, you're well ahead of the pack if you're there as a senior manager, because it, it is a very influential time, and if you have success, um, that grow and that bond will come back when you're when you're the senior manager. I suppose if you look at a lot of the managers now. Um, they've had some um, fingerprint on, on young guys coming up, whether it's minor, under 20s uh, and, and senior football. We see with Dewar and, and Logan and uh, the success and, and how quickly they've been able to... There's got to be a lot of chat in Toronto about, like, why do we not do this an awful lot sooner? I mean, really? I mean, it, it, it looked like they were bleeding the life out of that regime at that stage, and here we are straight into the Northern final. And that's that's what it is, boys. And I, I said it last week in the pew. Like this is this is this is an opportunity for guys to totally express themselves under a new management system, under 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 new people. Um, it's still Tyrone. Um, it's still the brand of football to a degree, but you, sometimes it just kind of gives you a breath of fresh air. And and look at in, in uh, we've seen it over the time. Like Jack O'Connor won his first All Ireland coming in in his first year. What a manager does when he comes in to a new setup, and if he's ready to, to, to if he's ready to go at the very start, and he's ready to rumble, well, you know, momentum can be a to, can be a great uh, a great benefit to you. I seen it in my own very first year of, of senior intercounty football, ninety five, ninety six, new manager, momentum, uh, you know, that kind of bond, that kind of uh, closeness drove us on, and all of a sudden you're going, jeez, we're in Division Three, and all of a sudden we're in our final. And it's happened time and time again. He lost to Galway in the Connacht, and then John Mohan took over after that, wasn't it? John Mohan took over in September '95. Uh, uh, I came into the panel in September '95, and uh, that was uh, that was that was it. John O'Mahony in his first year in Galway, 
98. Mm. Um, Joe Kerner was know. a first year manager. Mickey Hart was actually a first year manager when they both won All Ireland. There was a, a, a period it's, there it's, where it's, the thing was to be new and fresh and, and take a group of players who were tired and had had the, the same voice. But Tyrone were obviously coming off the back of unbelievable underage success. And those lads who came through weren't just footballers, they were, they were thinkers, they were, they were physically aggressive, they were athletes. It was a, a, a brilliant, brilliant time for them to be getting them. Look, my, my last point about Jack O'Connor before we go on, because that, that wasn't what we were supposed to be talking about. Either. No self respect. No, you went, off in a, you went off in a tangent. Well, it is front page the examiner, yeah. to be fair. <laughs> no self respecting Division One football culture. Would would actually have their manager looking over the shoulder, going, "Actually, I want another job in Division One." You know, I, and that that's the problem when you take a manager from one county. Their their grow will always be that county, and Kildare needs to have their own talent line and production line of managers who are coming through and who have proven themselves, who are ready to go. And I I don't blame Jack O'Connor for wanting the Kerry job. I blame the Kildare County Board for not putting in place a situation where somebody who's only interest is in the job of being the Kildare manager. That's and fair. Look at, it is fair, and that probably is there. Will, will, will Davy Byrne be the, the um, next Kildare manager? I mean, I don't know. Like, the, the, I, and again, you, um, can, I, can I ask you a question as a Kildare man? Go for it. Who, who's been more successful, um, Jack O'Connor in his short stint versus Kieran McGinney? Uh, well, McGinney reached an Ireland semi-final. And, and had a team that ran the dubs close by trying to win the game in a uh, Leinster final. So I would say McGinney was more successful than what we've seen so far from Jack O'Connor. In fairness, McGinney had much longer time to build that. But, Massive, yeah, yeah. But I and never you, got you, the sense McGinney was trying to get the RMA gig at that stage. Like, he wanted to stay. We, we kicked you, him out stupidly. You, yeah, I did. And if you ask Kieran McGinney back then, you know, about Armagh and his county, and that's where his heart is, and that's where his his, his love of a county is. It probably would permeate in some way, shape, or form. Maybe. No, he, I, I suspect yeah. his answer would have been, I've got a great job, I've got this group of players, we're, we're building something, you know, and we, we, we've got the dubs right there for the taking because we believed that at the time. I, I think we listen to we need to listen to the podcast. Exactly. Okay, okay. Exactly. Well, I, I've heard, there's, there's I've heard no a way. good bit of it. Right. He used, he, he, who doesn't want to manage, who doesn't want to coach Man United? Yeah, I remember Glor dressed him, Jeez, uh, and he was a character. Um, uh, John Morrison, and uh, he he says me over the Brazil of Gaelic football, and uh, it it it's it, not that it came back to bite us in the arse, but he was like that, that's I, I, we were by no means uh, the Brazil of Gaelic football. Maybe one or two fellas were, but um, look at it, it's it's. Uh, the Man United of uh, the Man United of uh, the GEA, in my mind, is uh, is Dublin. Yeah, big time. Have big you, time. Have you found anyone in the county who was at the Fifty One All Ireland who wants to like who and, and might be at the game against Tyrone that can say, yeah, I was at the last one as well, it's seventy years ago now, and and there probably was. Uh, there was, and uh, I've had the pleasure of talking to one or two people um, outside of Mayo. That was at the uh, the nineteen fifty one uh, All Ireland uh, over the last year year and a half and some of the phone calls I've been making. Uh, I've talked to Paddy Prendergast, um, who's um, the the one of the key figures of the Mayo nineteen fifty one team. Um, we got to remember Mickey Loftus, Doctor Mickey, uh, former president of the GA. Uh, he was he was involved in that panel, um, and again, it's uh, seventy years is a long time ago. To be a to be a, a twelve or fourteen year old being you know mm. lifted over the the, the the turnstiles and 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 everything else, but uh, I was brought back over the last during lockdown to to games like that. I was brought back to a game in nineteen thirty six, um, and uh, I, I'll uh, I have to say it's it it's it's and it lives fresh in people's memories um, for the few for the few and the privilege that were there and they're at it, but. Um, it's it's it, it's all about the next you know next hour of the week, the the 11th September for for two teams that um, really have an opportunity of a lifetime and, and two teams that really haven't uh, experienced that that occasion of winning on Ireland. I missed when it came out the first time your Laker Gale, but they showed it again after the semi final, and I was lying on the couch and flicked over, and there it was in the middle of it, you on the bus, and talking about those journeys that you made and how the the 
Mayo football is stitched into the lives of people and it kind of brings us right back to that start of that conversation about you do walk down the street and it's, it's exactly the same way have you thought about are you dreaming yet about what victory might actually mean to all those people are you trying not to think about it too much because of the heartache what's your relationship with the hope at the moment uh, how long am I t- chatting to you boys now 12, 13 years yeah sorry 15 years 15 years and uh, 2006 I retired and I start chatting to you and did you ever 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 hear me lose hope no no but, no. but it's and the listen hope that for kills a second. you it's not the hope that kills you it's the hope that keeps you alive and there's a people hoping and wishing and everything else in Tyrone the same as we are the same as a young fellow might be doing down in Wicklow or Carlow that says you know what wouldn't I hope and wish and dream so if you don't dream you don't sleep. That's the reality. Mm. And, and, and it's, it, you have to. And as the player, you envisage that. From a, from, a, from, a, from a mental perspective, yes, you envisage it. But you envisage what it takes to get there. And it, from, a, from a mindfulness point of view, uh, or, or a meditate, you, you visualize what it takes and what it's like and what, the, what it will feel like. You have to look past the end goal and the end line. To, 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 to embed it in your mind to say, that's what I want. That's my driving ambition. And the same is from the, this young Tyrone team. They haven't, they haven't suffered the defeats. Outside, outside <clears throat> heartbreak, heartbreak is, is, um, is, is, is a word that's bandied about a lot, especially in connection with Mayo. If, you, if, you, it's, uh, if your heart stops, unless you're resuscitated, you're dead. And from a Mayo perspective, the heart has never stopped. We've been close to resuscitation once or twice, <laughs> but it's 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 you have to dream, and you have to believe. I and I, I and I have firmly said it. As a player, I always believed it, and as a supporter, I've always said it. You you, you got you got to see it as well. Like you you said, you, you never gave up hope. But like I'd say, of all those years you're talking about, and you've been on off the ball. Like the, the lowest Mayo fan would possibly have felt was. 12 months ago where it just was so routine in the second half and Dublin really did look unbeatable like and I spoke to a few people David after the Dublin game and this is by no means preempting if Mayo don't be thrown I think Mayo will win the All-Ireland this year that what they what they did against Dublin in the second half was one of the greatest sporting achievements I've ever seen because it was like you know Colm O'Rourke saying we may as well go home at half time six points down um, the weight of history against you, so much going wrong, so much of a meltdown of, of for Aidan O'Shea missing that shot. What you did, like, surely that, that was the game where you know that this, is, this has to be the year because t- that performance, like, it probably won't take something like that in the final. That was just, it, it wasn't sport, it was just believing that we can do this despite all the weight of failures behind us we can beat the greatest team of all time in their own patch and reduce them to rubble at the end I think Dublin produced our, our, like, like let themselves crumble to a degree and again that beating Dublin will not be worth a damn honestly I was in the same situation back in 2006 my last year playing when maybe one of the greatest performances of all time coming back from seven points down with 12, 14 minutes to go. Mm. And there was blue, and there was, oh, this is it, and down we bet the dubs, and what a massive performance, last kick of the game, Hogan stand, Kieran McDonald, mm. left foot, away you go, here me are. No good to you. No good to you if you don't finish the job. And it's time, and, I, I, and, and uh, there is an opportunity to throw the shackles off. And, you know, and say this is it. The, the this is it. And we we've been there before, so we can learn that lesson. When when you whether watch a people... sporting event like this as well, um, whether a lot of people I think now have a passing interest in Gaelic football, where they won't watch it much of the time, they'll turn in for some tune in for some of the big games, but there 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 isn't a human in you if your heart doesn't skip a beat or something befalls your body in that moment if the All-Ireland final is over, the referee blows the final whistle and, and you look at Mayo people crumble to the ground because that's what it means at this stage. Uh. Jesus. Yeah. To be some crack. <laughs> in all fairness. 
And uh, <laughs> I try and not let myself go to that place um, because the game has to be played. Um, they, you know, how are you... Go Did you th I, I don't... I try and not let myself go there, to be honest with you. I try and say the game needs to be played. The ball needs to be won. There's go like, and, and there's no one. And look at whatever papers or headlines have been written. Favorite, there's, there's no favourites going into this game. Were you guys... Were you favourites ahead of the Kerry game? I can't remember in 06. I, I guess you weren't, even though you'd beaten the Dogs. Not really, because look at the quality and look at the calibre and look at the, 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 the team that they had. And it was the same team that bet us in, am I right, in 04? It was. Yeah, so they were serious, they were serious bowlers, big time. So we weren't in favours, but just, it was, it was, I honestly, I honestly went into that game in 06 saying, we're going to win this game. And there's no players that should go into an order of the finals and not say anything else. The, the last time we were ever favourites, and just a favourites tag with me, oh, look, it, it doesn't matter a damn. We've been through every trial and tribulation that you could ask for. Um, and it's never served a purpose because it never wins you a game. And again, it's about that. Were you favourites ever? I don't remember. Actually... 97, 97. Right. We were favourites in 97. Uh, we had lost 96. Why, and Johnny, you're going to... Uh, that Dublin thing. You want to go back as a Mayo supporter or a Mayo player to see 96, what we went through. Mm, I remember, and seven yeah. points up. And in you're going. You can't get... You can't get... You cannot get worse than that. Never mind if you score two goals. But that's the journey of life. And again, these are a different bunch of players. And, and one thing, one thing, and I won't say his name, the, um, the, 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 not the, the amount of uh, re-energise, the, the, the Mayo dressing has been absolutely re-energised by some young fellas coming in. And it's not the laissez-faire and they don't give a damn, it's just that they're going, here, we're here to play football. They haven't we're had not failure per se. Well, look at Spence's. Someone's always going to have failure in some aspect, but you mightn't have the tag of losing six All Ireland. But a lot of the young fellas have re reinvigorated this Mio team by their attitude and the way they play, and sometimes the way they turn up. The might Spence's have Spence's one long sock, one short sock, one pink boot, one blue boot, baseball cap upside down or wherever. You, and they're going. You know what? We're only here to play football. Yeah. And another big thing, another big thing is now we've got two All Ireland finals in a row now. You can say it's, it, it's, it's for me, it's a, it's a serious achievement to keep going. But the big thing, the big thing is that the boys aren't meeting up in the Spa Hotel in Lucan right now or at four o'clock today and driving down for two and a half hours on a bus and training and going through analysis and eating, getting back on the bus at half time. Yeah. Getting up to the spa hotel and looking at a quarter past one, quarter to one. And then getting up at six or half six in the morning, as we all do in the, in, in, in a city like this. It's the COVID bounty. It's, it's it's, it is a massive, a massive, a massive, a massive bonus. So it is. Mm -hmm. To have that collective, and there's been one or two up, you know, sporadically. But to have that collective unit at James Horn's disposal, is 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 has been a benefit, and as you said, it is the COVID bounty. Mm. Can I? The last question. Um, I definitely heard from somebody who was talking to somebody in the camp. Oh, like, we'd, we'd prefer, we kind of prefer Kerry because we know exactly what they're going to throw at us. With Tyrone, you don't know that much. It, there's some there's some video evidence against top quality opposition from the Ulster Championship and now the All Ireland semi final about what Tyrone are going to do. And it's not a million miles away, but it's definitely a, a development from last year. But there's still unknown unknowns about Tyrone. Does McShane start, or if he does start, do they take him off? And what, how will that change? It, you know, does he come off the bench? There's, does, there's, with Kerry, you knew exactly what you were getting. Close down Paddy, and you go miles towards closing down David. Close down Sean O'Shea and Paddy, and it's game over. With Tyrone, it's kind of different. So. Would you have preferred, in a perverse way, even though there are ghosts from Kerry, to play Kerry in an all Ireland final than Tyrone? Um, good point. I, you, you probably would be more definitive on your matchups. And Mayo have always, always matched up and matched up well and got their calls right in the matchups as such. And I think your matchups were more identifiable if you were playing Kerry. They're, you're going, well, do you, does he go on? Slud, you know, does he, does, does, does Matty Danley, are you going to put 
your ace of Matty Donnelly or, or is, this, is it going to be Colin McShane? Do you put a whore? You know, um, but I don't, I honestly don't believe there, there's going to be a 20-80. 20% focus on Tyrone, but 80% focus has to be on how Mayo dictate and how Mayo play and how they try and um, rule the game. I, can, I, I, you're, you're, you, I don't think there's, 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 you can't put 50% of your time into how you stop them from playing because it's very hard to stop a team that, that's, that, that, that is that eager. And is that touch tight? As you could, there's, there's a, the word in football, touch tight. What I seen from Tyrone was octopus tight. They had their hands absolutely everywhere. There wasn't two seconds. There was there was there wasn't men that was allowed to hold the ball for two seconds without a hand being on them, and a and, and, and a physical hand. And the tenacity in their tackle was 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 a major major point. And if you look at two turning points of this championship for me, and it has brought these teams to the All Ireland final. Very simplistic thing to say. Petey Hertz, um, diving block. We remember it. And Jim with O'Connor's um, yeah. toe to stop the ball going in. The iconic they moment are, of the championship in some respects. It is. And Petey, and you're going, you know what? When you have them things and you see them things and you experience them on the pitch as a player that your opposition, your, your man is after doing it. It is. It, that creates unbelievable drive and momentum. And both of these te- teams have it going into the final, it's and 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 there, there's there's a there's a serious there's a serious um, opportunity for both teams, um, and, and at this game. But uh, but uh, I think from a, you throw the shackles off, and say here it goes, and here it is, we have this opportunity. Mayo people think you'll win, though, don't you? Um, if we play to the best of our ability. And our big players play well, and luck goes on our side. We'll win, but so will Tyrone if they have the option. You know. <laughs> ah, here. here. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly, I honestly. Um, We're ahead of our penalties. I, not, I just, I, I honestly won't be able for penalties. There's, there's a replay. There's no. a replay. There's a, if is there? If there is. If the final is a draw, there's a replay. That's. Uh, I thought yeah. was and, and, hey, just boy, it's just. And look at Tyrone or TA Med. And and but boys, tickets! Oh man, I, oh, I tell yeah. you now, they need it to extend is, the eighty-two. I, they do. They just need they to decide. Oh, it, 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 it is, the it country's is. open and open. We may as well open it for this. Come on! Don't don't you? There's no compulsion to go to this game. And if you happen to pick up COVID at this game, you'll put your hands up and say, "I took that risk. I'm sorry. I don't mind uh, self isolating. Let them let them go to the game. It's ridiculous." As it's now that the door is open, and I I, 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 my head is wrecked for the next two weeks. And it is about <laughs> I trying to get tickets. And you have, you have, you know, um, it is just going to be chaotic. Not chaotic. It's just going to be hard. And you have to accept we're in a different environment and different, yeah. in a different circumstance. Having forty thousand there, Look, but um, it, 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 with the help of God, it'll be thirty-five thousand million people. If anybody hasn't seen the Lake Regal, it's brilliant. It's a, it's a love poem uh, to you and to Mayo football, and to. The journey and to defeat and to win in and to hope. I thought it was great. I love it. Thanks, John. It's not about me. It, it's a, it, it typifies what Mayo is about. And it's that, that people on from Westport going on the bus and living to go on the bus. And they have missed that bloody bus so much, like we all have. This, it's, and, and, and again, with having live sport and having representative GA of football on over the last couple of months, it's given us a bloody chance to talk a chance to live and a maybe a chance to dream well enjoy the dreams whatever happens next TV brilliant to have a pleasure boys thanks a million talk God bless.